Welcome back everyone to the Audacious Money Witch channel where we talk about investing and trading and a lot of fun things. My Disney stock is forcing my Tesla stock to do this unthinkable deal. It's brutal. Remember, just in February, everyone was so negative on Disney stock. Nobody believes Disney Plus was going to make any money. People are selling their DIS stock as big YouTubers are making popular videos about how Disney Plus was going to disappear in a year. That was just two months ago. Well, the joke's on them. Ha 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 ha. Those people are not real Disney investors like us. Well, as for the true believers like us, we are getting rewarded handsomely by Disney stock right now. DIS stock is now up 36% year to date. Well, this video is not just for us to celebrate our wins for Disney, but I will let you know the unthinkable thing Tesla CEO Elon Musk had to do for Tesla stock right now. Also, you will never think that there is another one of the most revolutionary and innovative companies in the world that can connect the special dot between Disney and Tesla together. His name is NVIDIA. And these are coming up next in today's juicy episode of Audacious Money Witch Show. A month ago, I had this video made. I thought of Disney as a technology company. I talked about the sentiment around Disney and Bob Iger. It's so bad and negative that even Jeremy, the one, are bullish about a frozen vegan food company known as a tattoo chef, don't want to touch Disney stock. The more time ticked on and the more I kind of thought about Disney, the more I was like, this is not a stock I want to be part of. This is a mess, an absolute mess of a company. I mean, the, the amount of issues on Disney's plate right now is, I don't even know where to start. Wow. It yeah. looks like, it looks like <laughs> you've got a, what's known as a W bottom, and this stock gets to $89, $90, it's a buy. Yeah, and it's funny, because if you look at the earnings growth, there's actually significant, decent earnings growth into 24, 25. So, you know, you pair up the fundamentals and the technicals. and It's not exactly the most compelling case ever, but it's so bad it's good has worked before. <laughs> hey, it's working in the fact, market, fact, right? It, it has. So just <laughs> take Josh as an example. Josh is always on the show saying he wants to buy it lower, wants to buy it one. Okay, a lot of people want to buy the stock in the 70s. Well, maybe you don't buy it in the 70s. Next thing you know, it's in the 90s, and you say to yourself, wait a second, the train potentially is pulling out of the station. I better get it run quickly to get on it. As Walt said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Uh, I want to introduce you to my friend, Tinkerbell. Oh, what? Whoa. Jingle, set me down, please. I'm Excuse sorry me. about that, Tink. You told me... You what told you? me to go a lightly pirate? there. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Well, it, it's oh, oh. it's good to see you, Tinkerbell. Are people out here to see me, Josh? I think they're here to see you. Not, certainly not for me. They're not here to see me. Hi, Mickey. How are you doing, Mickey? How's Mickey Mouse doing, everyone? Disney. Why Disney is now an AI tech company. Holy smokers, this ain't no jokers, Mickey. The people on Wall Street were waiting for Disney stock to go lower than 79. They still think it could go lower. It turns out I was right. I thought that the bad news of Disney has reached its peak. When Elon said to Bob Iger this. As Attorney General filed a civil lawsuit against Meta and CEO Mark Zuckerberg. We know Mark Zuckerberg is a rival of Elon Musk of sorts. And in that suit, the AG alleged that Meta's social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram are not safe spaces for children, but rather, quote, prime locations for predators to trade child pornography and solicit minors for sex. Now, Disney pulled its advertising off of X last month. He's going to try to blackmail me with advertising? Blackmail me with money? Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. Is that clear? Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Nobody else taught that. Even the war between Mickey Mouse and Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis, appears to be over. Disney and allies of the outspoken Florida governor have reached a settlement in their court battle over how Walt Disney World in Orlando area is developed in the future. Speaking of Elon and the Tesla stock, 
I have to point out that Disney stock year to date is actually positive up 36% today outperforming the market versus Tesla down 30%. We all know Tesla is a business selling electric cars, but Elon wants you to think Tesla to evolve into an AI robotics technology company instead as an automotive company. So people did, at least Wall Street did. Tesla is being valued as a tech giant back in 2021 with a trillion dollars valuation and commanded over a thousand in PE ratio. Because Tesla is an AI robotic company, even though it only sells EVs, I know another automotive company that is outperforming Tesla stock year to date. I am talking about GM stock. It's up 27% year to date. The reason why I bought up GM is because Mary Bear is on the Disney's board. Also, I like their sports car, Camaro and Corvette. There was one thing that separated GM and Tesla for a long time. People are talking about how ice makers rely on advertising to survive. Now, Elon Musk has to do the unthinkable to help Tesla to get more sales. Elon Musk famously hated advertising. But Tesla is now spending more on ads amid slow demand for EVs. Talk about the irony here. Elon and Bob argued about advertising four months ago. Now Elon is paying money to Zuckerberg for ads. Tesla has, for most of its history, been firmly averse to advertising. In recent months, the ads mark a striking about face for Musk who as Tesla's chief executive has long held advertising was unnecessary if Tesla's product was good enough. I hate advertising, Musk tweeted in 2019. Like other tech startups that became household names such as Google and Apple, Tesla for years relied on word of mouth endorsements from early adopters and Silicon Valley techies along with CEO's rising public profile to raise awareness of its brand. Media coverage of Tesla is its primary sales driver by last May's annual Tesla shareholder meeting. However, Musk had changed his tune when an attendee suggested the company should consider advertising to counter perceptions that it makes impractical sports cars for the wealthy. Musk responded, The advertising is awesome and everyone should do it. We'll, we'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Tesla spent approximately $6.4 million on U.S. digital advertising in 2023. According to estimates from Vivix, an ad tracking company, while a dramatic increase over the approximately 175000 that Vivix estimates Tesla spent on ads, in 2022. It was a pittance compared with investments by other car makers. General Motors, for instance, spent $3.6 billion on global advertising and promotion in 2023, or about $580 for each of the 6.19 million vehicles it sold that year. One of the things with the Z06 is we wanted to make sure that the feel of the car from a vibration standpoint and the sound that you're hearing just gives you this feeling of being in this exotic car. I got goosebumps. The majority of Tesla's ad spending has gone to YouTube, but Tesla has recently also placed video ads on Facebook and Instagram, units of meta platforms, and on X. What a shocker! Tesla quietly experimented with buying ads on websites in recent years, but its online ad presence had grown significantly since that meeting. According to ad tracking companies and some tech companies that have sold Tesla ads, weeks after Musk's comment, Musk's companies, including Tesla, deleted their official Facebook pages years ago, and he has more recently publicly attacked Meta and taunted its chief executive, Mark Zuckerberg. Last year, the two billionaires spared verbally on X and discussed duking it out in a cage match.
Earlier this month, however, a new page affiliated with Tesla's began buying targeted video ads across Meta platforms, according to data from Meta's ad library. Tesla's new ad campaign on Facebook, Instagram, and X promotes the Model Y with footage of a cowboy and a company's Giga Texas factory in the Austin, Texas area. It also encourages viewers to buy before April Fool's Day, April 1st. When Tesla has said prices will increase by $1,000, they're trying to change the paradigm of Tesla being this cool sports car to a more family-friendly car. Tesla's heavy reliance on YouTube ads instead of traditional TV may be a signal the company is looking for efficiency since digital advertising allows it to target consumers who might be in the market for a Tesla, such as those who have searched for EVs. At a much cheaper per user rate than with a traditional TV campaign. Tesla has hired a marketing agency in the past and the company spent eight figure totals some years between 2016 and 2019 on marketing, advertising and promotional expenses as a category. Experts disagree on whether Tesla's recent ad buys signal a long term investment. Slowing growth in consumer demand for electric vehicles along with increased competition among EV makers has drawn Tesla into advertising, said Craig Irwin, a senior analyst. Tesla in January warned of notably slower growth in 2024 and its stock price has dropped by nearly 30% so far this year. China's BYD last quarter overtook Tesla as the largest global seller of EVs. They're a very special car company, but they're a car company. They need to advertise to maximize their visibility and go for every incremental sale they can garner. Irwin said, to secure its next wave of growth, Tesla must appeal to mass market consumers for the next gen Model 2, so it will need to invest significantly more in advertising. But Tesla won't need to spend as heavily on advertising as other car makers. They already have a really special brand. Elon is part of that brand. And they already have a big business without having to spend money on the brand. NVIDIA's next generative AV computer, all this incredible intelligence is powered by the new Jetson Thor robotics chips designed for Groot, built for the future. Today we discovered that Disney's BDX robots are powered by Jetson. Jetson, a robotics computer, in a previous GTC, Jensen was shaking hands with Elon, talking about AI and his Tesla Model S. I have all three versions of his cars. It just gets better and better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tesla CEO, founder, Elon Musk. I've never seen anybody walk this slow. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome, welcome. They want to go directly to the juicy stuff. That artificial intelligence is more dangerous than nuclear weapons. And I said potentially. <laughs> you say that it's like summoning the demon. Could be. <laughs> so if tomorrow all cars were autonomous, it would take 20 years to replace the fleet. Prematurely regulate. No premature yeah. regulations. If well, you, I mean, regu regulate. That was a joke. Are, <laughs> I mean, a lot of your engineers are software engineers. I mean, that's yeah, one, of the, absolutely. one of the great things about Tesla. You guys, right here in, in Silicon Valley, you're rich with software engineers, and, and you have that, you've that computer sensibility about architecting a computer properly, designing the software properly, designing the software for many generations of cars so it refines and gets better and better. Well, the future yeah. of cars is so exciting. I mean, a lot of people think about, think about Tesla as the electric car. And I, but I think it's obviously more than that. It's an electric car, but yeah. it's, it's a whole computer platform on top of that. Yeah, I think, I think Tesla's, I mean, Tesla's sort of the leader in electric cars, but I think will also sort of be the leader in autonomous uh, cars, mm -hmm. at least autonomous cars that people can buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and we're, so we're, we're, I mean, if there's anybody who's interested in working on autonomous cars, we'd love to have you work at Tesla, by the way. <laughs> um. <laughs> And which mode do you have it in? I always have it in insane mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. The 
reason why Disney stock is up is because I think Disney Plus is going to reach profitability this year and Disney will generate double the free cash flow as last year. Tesla, in Jensen's words, it's closer to ChatGPT moment of AI for the autonomous car. This is why I love both my Disney stock and Tesla stock. I am going to ride them both for years to come.